here is our second problem in exercise 1.3 the problem is without performing division state whether the following rational numbers will have a terminating decimal form or a non terminating repeating decimal form okay uh, if it is in terminating decimal form what about the denominators the denominators will be in the form of 2 power n into 5 power m right if it is not a terminating that means if it is a non terminating the denominators is not in the form of 2 power n into 5 power m that means with 2 and 5 there is another number or without these 2 and 5 there is another numbers or another prime numbers in the prime factorization form okay so you will see first one 13 by 3125 so take the denominator 3125 so if you check 5 6 30 12 will be there 5 twos and 5 fives 5 ones 5 twos 5 fives 5 twos and 5 fives so 13 by 3125 is equal to 13 by 5 power 5. So the denominator must be in the form of 2 power n into 5 power c, 5 power m. Here 2 is not there but we can write this as 2 power 0. What is the value of 2 power 0? 1. So no need of writing. Right. So in the denominator whether if denominator is in the form of 2 power n or in the form of 5 power m or in both 2 power n into 5 power m it is a terminating decimal so here they they did not ask to write the decimal form but whether it is terminating or non terminating so we should we write denominator is in the form of 2 power n into 5 power m so it is terminating decimal therefore it is terminating decimal right and if you check second one 11 by 12 Take the denominator 2 6 and 2 3s. So I am not writing but I am explaining. So here see this is 2 square into 3. What about the denominator? Only 2s or only 5s are both 2 and 5 are present in the denominator then only it is terminating. Otherwise it is, it is non-terminating repeating decimal okay and third one 64 by 455 so now we'll check 455 five nines and five ones right so again 7 13s 13 7 is a 91 right so here also in the denominator 5 is there but 7 and 13 also is there so this is not in the form of 2 power n into 5 power m only 2s must be present or only 5s or both 2 and 5 not other numbers so here 7 and 13 are, are there so this is also non terminating repeating decimal and coming to fourth one, so here is our fourth and fifth one. For the fourth one denominator is 1600. If we write in the form of prime factorization or product of prime numbers, that is 2 power 6 into 5 square. Here 2s are there and 5s are there. So this is terminating decimal okay and here 343 if we check 343 is 7 cube right this 7 cube 2s 
no pre not present and if there are fives no and so this is non terminating repeating decimal so very easily we can say this when it is easy if we know how to write the prime factorization so the next remaining problems are here sixth one if we observe the denominator it is in the form of 2 power n into 5 power m so you should write if they asked for one mark it is in the form of 2 power n into 5 power m so it is terminating decimal so it is terminating decimal okay i'm not writing because video length may increase so here in the denominator 2s are there 5s are there but 7 power 5 is there no so only the denominator must be in the form of 2 power n into 5 power m so it is non terminating repeating decimal and here 15 what is the prime factorization of 15 3 5 and here 3 is there so it is non terminating repeating decimal what about the 36 by 100 36 by 100 so if we write the prime factors of 100 250s 225s and 55s so only 2s and 5s are here so it is terminating decimal okay and the last one 77 by 210 so find the prime factors for 210 3 sevens or 21 next 7 tens next 2 fives and here also 3 and 7 are there so is this terminating or non terminating yeah clearly it is non terminating repeating decimal so students if it is a terminating the denominators or the prime factors of denominators must be in the form of 2 power n into 5 power m or simply if the prime factors of denominator must be in the power of 2s or in the power of 5s or in the both 2 powers and 5 powers okay So here is our third problem in this exercise. Write the following rationals in decimal form using theorem 1.1. Actually that is theorem 1.3. So what is theorem 1.3 means? If the rational number is in p by q form such that prime factorization of q is in the form of 2 power n into 5 power m. If a rational number x is equal to p by q is a rational number and the prime factorization of this q is in the form of 2 power n into 5 power m where n and m are non-negative integers then then this x that means this rational number has a terminating decimal form that is the that theorem okay that means simply if the prime factorization of the denominator is in the form of 2 power n into 5 power m it is a terminating decimal okay you see the first one 13 by 25 okay as in the first problem again 25 prime factors 5 square and to get zeros in the denominator 5 square is there no so we are multiplying with 2 square both numerator and denominator so 13 into 4 by 10 square 52 by 100 how many zeros are there after 1 2 so after decimal point 2 numbers must be present so these 2 and 0 point that is the decimal form and here 16 to power 4 same with 5 power 4 we multiplied both numerator and denominator here 10 power 4 so 10 power 4 means after 1 we have 4 digits so after decimal point four digits must be there there are four so we wrote that 0 0.9375 and here third one also here 2 cube into 5 square we have no need of finding the prime factors already they gave but the powers are not equal right so we should equalize those powers first of all so 2 cube forgetting 5 cube we should multiply with 5 
so both numerator and denominator so 2 into 5 10 cube 115 i already told a power m into b power m a into b whole power m right a b whole power m so 2 cube into 5 cube 2 into 5 whole cube so 115 by 1000 so how many zeros are there after 1 3 so after decimal point 3 digits must be there so this is 0 0.115 and next one here 5 is there but 3 is square also there to write in the decimal form the denominator factorization must be in 2 power n into 5 power m form so we should check whether it is cancellation or cancellation happened or not so 9 8 is 72 right 0 9 2 is 18 so the remaining is 802 by 5 square so to equalize these with the 2 square we should multiply not with equalize to get tens hundreds so 802 into 4 by 5 into 2 10 10 square so 802 into 4 by 100 so 8 fours are 32 and here zeros 2 fours are 8 so that is so here how many zeros are there after one two zeros two zeros so after the decimal point two numbers must be there so 0 8 write the remainder 32.08 is the decimal form of that number okay and coming to the last they gave 143 by 110 so 110 we can write 11 into 10 right again we should check for cancellation 11 ones or 11 3 33 11 3 is 33 so this is 13 by 10 so 10 is there so after decimal point one digit must be there so it is 1.3 so this is the decimal form without doing the division we wrote that decimal form so here is our last problem in this exercise 1.3 that is fourth problem the decimal form of some real numbers are given below in each case decide whether the number is rational or not if it is rational and expressed in the form of p by q what can you say about prime factors of q that means q means denominator okay so this is first one first of all we should say it is rational or not okay rational or not means it is terminating or non terminating we should tell first of all so it is a terminating decimal right because it has end point it is a it is a terminating decimal so terminating decimals are rational numbers So this is a rational number. Okay. So this is a rational number. And if it is rational, yes it is a rational and expressed in the form of P by Q, what can you say about prime factors of Q? So prime factors of Q or in the form of already we learned you know this is q or in the form of 2 power n into 5 power m that is terminating decimal okay and here second one if you observe 0 0.120 1200 1200 1200 so First of all, it is not terminating. That means it has no end digit. Okay. It is continuous digit. And, and no repetition also in a, in a specified manner, in a certain manner. 
here one zero and here two zeros so it is non terminating non repeating also repeating means recurring non terminating non recurring decimal non terminating non recurring means it is irrational it is irrational it is not rational okay and coming to the third one 43.1234567891 bar bar means the numbers under the bar repeating right so is this terminating no it is non terminating and recurring non terminating recurring decimal so non terminating recurring means it is a rational number and it is a rational number and what about the prime factors the prime factors are not in the form of 2 power n into 5 power m because it is not terminating right so these are the solutions of exercise 1.3 i think you understand these problems students thank you for watching and please subscribe this channel and share with your friends